Greg really kindly offered to come and do weekly cooking sessions with the young people where we turn their favourite takeaways into healthy meals. So not only did he give up his own time, but this was the first time that we know of somebody coming from the kitchen to come and work in a clinical setting directly with the young people. He's been amazing at teaching the young people new skills, which they've been able to use in their free time on the ward, but also at home. And um, we've had young people who haven't been eating many fruit and veg at all, who have started eating lots more and even going home and cooking some of their meals with their family, which has been amazing. The encouraging part of doing these groups is I've seen the development and the confidence levels raise in the young people that we've been working with and their skills increasing week by week with their knowledge and their practical hands-on cooking. These sessions have been tremendous for me because we can talk about the food that we cook every day but also look at foods in the wider angle, think about healthy eating, think about getting young people cooking and about um, skills for life. I nominated the Fight Back Mental Health Team because I feel it's a valuable resource. I think one of the most prominent things about Fight Back is that it's done on goodwill. Recognising that there was a need for physical health, you know, there's lots of government um, literature out there about, you know, physical health being good for mental well-being. And I encouraged quite a few sort of service users to go down there and I've seen some positive results. It's changed their life, it's improved their confidence, it's, they've lost weight, you know, they've become more healthy and it's given them some structure. When we first started, that was the, sometimes it was just the three of us in the gym and one or two people would come, come and join in. But we found that just by being there and being consistent and always being open on the times we said we would, eventually people started coming along and we've had right up to 40 people in the, in, in the gym. Fight Back is basically a boxing group for people with all different kinds of mental health issues. And the group sort of set up in a very sort of relaxed way. We try to keep it as informal as possible. And we take, we want people, anyone who wants to go out and compete and box for like for Weymouth Boxing, Amateur Boxing Club, to people who just want to keep fit. Lewis has got experience as a boxer. He's an amateur boxer with a good record. Vaughan's a, a Thai boxer and he's had a few, a few Thai boxing fights previously. And I've got like over 10 years experience as a support worker. So when the three of us are there all together, it, it works really well. We just want to eliminate that sort of stigma that's attached to mental health. When we thought that boxing's a real sort of, you know, it has to, you have to be quite a positive person to have the confidence to do that. And sometimes people with mental health issues maybe need a little bit of confidence. The most satisfying bit for me is, is seeing people come back week after week and just are fitter, they're more confident, they're more motivated. Sometimes they've lost weight, sometimes they tell us they're not drinking as much because they want to be there. Three and a half years, it's, it's gone from really quite small to, to a really big successful group. Sarah has shown me as a service user nothing but real enthusiasm for getting me doing a whole range of activities and groups. Sarah has changed my life mentally and physically. I don't know how she did it, but Sarah got me up and running with her great motivational skills. I'm now motivated to try new activities both in educational self-help courses and in physical pursuits. I have a new lease of life thanks to Sarah's hard work and compassion and great sense of humour. Sarah, thank you. I feel very honoured and privileged. It's fantastic to be recognised. So working for Start is very rewarding in the way that sometimes it's the small steps that mean the most towards that journey. They're just as important as the big steps. Um, and it's a real privilege to be alongside people on that journey and to join them in that, that celebration and success. And the whole team are, are really supportive of each other.